Once upon a time, two slaves named Anna and Elsa escaped from their master Hans and fled to the forest. As they were wandering about there, they came upon a beast lying down, moaning and groaning. At first, they turned to flee, but finding that the beast did not pursue them, they turned back and went up to him. Hmm? As they came near, the beast put out his paw, which was all swollen and bleeding, and Anna found that a huge thorn had got into it, and it was causing all the pain. Elsa pulled out the thorn and bound up the paw of the beast, who was soon able to rise and lick the hand of the girl like a good dog. Then the beast took them to his cave, and every day used to bring them meat from which to live. But shortly afterwards, Anna, Elsa and the beast were captured by their master Hans, and the slaves were sentenced to be thrown to the beast after the latter had been kept without food for several days. <laughs> the emperor and all his court came to see the spectacle, and Anna and Elsa were let out into the middle of the arena. Soon, the beast was let loose from his den and rushed bounding and roaring towards his victims. But as soon as he came near to them, he recognized his friends and fawned upon them licking their hands like a friendly dog. The emperor, surprised at this, summoned Anna and Elsa to him, who told him the whole story, whereupon the slaves were pardoned and freed, and the beast led loose to his native forest. Because gratitude is the sign of noble souls.